Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the Clinton campaign story today from the spin room. Good evening, Jennifer. <laughs> Good evening, Brett. Hillary Clinton just took questions from reporters traveling with her in Pennsylvania. She was asked about her husband's remarks about Obamacare, in which he called it the craziest thing he'd seen. She said they would fix what's broken and keep what, what works. She also attacked Donald Trump on his recent remarks of, about veterans with post-traumatic stress, suggesting that his remarks added to the stigma, suggesting that some could handle the stresses of war and others can't. Asked how she thought her running mate would do in the debate tonight, Hillary Clinton answered with a thumbs up. The latest polls show Clinton pulling ahead among women voters, especially white women in the suburbs of Philadelphia, where she campaigned today with her daughter Chelsea and Hollywood actress Elizabeth Banks, a University of Pennsylvania graduate. Clinton was asked by a 15-year-old girl in the audience about Trump's recent body-shaming remarks involving a former Miss Universe. As the first female president, how would you undo some of that damage? We need to laugh at it. We need to refute it. We need to ignore it. And we need to stand up to it, and especially the bullying. There are too many young women online who are being bullied. While campaigning for Clinton in Florida, Vice President Joe Biden lashed out at remarks Donald Trump made about veterans suffering with post-traumatic stress, adding he feels sorry for Mike Pence. What a hell of a way to make a living to be vice president, have to get up every morning and support someone you don't agree with. Maybe he does. The Trump campaign expects Tim Kaine to be the one on defense. You're going to see tomorrow a feisty Mike Pence take on the record of Hillary Clinton and hold her accountable for the failures of her policies as Secretary of State, um, also as United States Senator. Talk about an unremarkable record. As the two vice presidential nominees prepare to square off in Farmville, recent polls show Clinton making gains in certain key swing states, but not in Ohio, where she is trailing by five points. A new Quinnipiac poll shows Clinton up by three in North Carolina, four in Pennsylvania, and five points in Florida. That's where two new Spanish language television ads target Hispanic voters. Clinton's campaign chairman wondered out loud about Pence's strategy tonight. Does he double down on the bigotry and the kind of campaign, uh, the negative campaign that Donald Trump has run from the beginning, uh, or does he try to preserve uh, his own political future and kind of distance himself from that? According to the latest Fox News poll, more voters have a positive than negative view of Kane and Pence, but 3 and 10 don't know who they are. In the spin room, campaign spokesman Jen Palmieri acknowledged that the Clinton campaign is having some trouble, especially among white voters in Ohio. It's not clear how Tim Kaine will appeal to those voters tonight, especially since he was in favor of some of those trade deals like the TPP. Brett? Jennifer Griffin live in the spin room. Jennifer, thank you.